Red Hulk is the first new spotlight card of the season of Marvel Snap and the hype surrounding him has been quite high. At last, those pesky high evil players are going to get punished. After seeing the official season trailer, people have noticed something. When Red Hulk is in your hand and gains power, it actually shows that to your opponent, which is a major downside since your opponent will know how much power to expect. But I guess something like that and the requirement of him needing to be in your hand or in play was needed because Red Hulk can grow out of control. Even if he gets triggered once, he is already a 615, but he has the potential of growing to 39 power in the Limbo game. Obviously, that's going to be incredibly rare, but it could happen. The problem with Red Hulk for me is that his power is entirely dependent on your opponent's plays. And once they know you have Red Hulk in hand, and they will know because of his in-hand animation, they will try and play around him. He's also super reliant on being drawn early if you want the power growth, like with the high evo hulk to me red hulk is something you add to an existing good deck that has big cards like thanos or hella but he's not a card you build your deck around the deck i wanted to show you today is black knight hella discard with red hulk he has easily replaced Giganto in this deck for me. He's more versatile than Giganto and can grow bigger than him. I really wanted to share a good deck with Red Hulk, one that you can just go out and win games with, not a meme deck. And because he relies so much on your opponent plays, you have to place him in an existing good deck. So it was either this or Thanos, and you know how I feel about Thanos. I feel like it might be a little bit late for Phoenix Force, but maybe not. Because you only move once. I guess it's a 10 in another location. No. It's not that amazing, is it? Oh no, they've seen it. They have seen it. You believe you could pull the Hella or Sif or Lockjaw, which is not amazing, really. I'm gonna do this and the Red Hulk on the right. Multiple Man on the right. Heimdall on the right. That's a lot of power on the right. So maybe I'll, I'll do this instead. I actually don't think, don't know if this is enough, but YOLO. Okay. Pretty sure that's time though. Yeah. Oh wait, that thing is big actually. I forgot the monster moves too. Oh, we won. Nice. We successfully avoided the fart because this deck now runs the fart. Okay, my hand is pretty good. I got Black Knight. Oh, and Lady Sif. Just don't draw the Hella yet, and we're good. More Thanos. Great. Love it. So much variety on ladder. What a fun and interactive game. Alright, let's see what they got. what they got. That's fine, I don't care about that. Why should I care about that? Damn, that's big. Okay. Let's get me... Hella. Hella, hella, hella. Hella, hella, hella. Come on. Ooh, that's big. We're just giving them Infinite and Jubilee. Jubilee is quite nice for them, actually. Ooh, hella. Hella will bring back what? Dracula and Death. It's pretty good, honestly. And it's nice because they can't uh, ally of me, even with the Jubilee. This might be Maginito, which will draw their cards as well. That's fine. Not Cosmo, we're good. Oh. Okay. Oh, let's go! Nice Thanos, though. Bye-bye. 
I'm only gonna be toxic to um, Thanos players. Good. Not Thanos. I don't want to play the Black Knight now because I, I don't want to 4 9. I can play him next turn and depending on what I draw because I don't want to play him out too early. He might get destroyed. Might get killed by um, Electra or Killmonger. Okay, now I'll play him. I should probably also snap. My hand is pretty good. Oh, let's go. I'm scared now. I am scared. Why are you snapping? Oh. Ooh, Red Hulk in my hand, finally. Actually, um, I should... Oh, I should have probably played her in the middle, because they can't play Cosmo there, can they? Cosmo might go left if there is a Cosmo. Ebony Blade? On the left? Okay, bye! <laughs> that was fast. Okay, not a bot, that's good. And not Thanos, yay. Always happy to see Nothanos. Ooh, it's also discard. But theirs is a different type of discard. Do you think they have Red Hulk? I haven't seen the Red Hulk animation from my opponent's side yet. Nobody's playing him. I don't mind playing her in the middle. The right side is a bit risky. Draculagon? Pelagon? Ooh, those are not the good cards to discard. Give me something big. Okay, tiny for them, big for me. Ooh. Yeah, mine is bigger. I like it. Jubilee on the right it seems okay. Could get something really good. Not something really good, but it's not too bad. Helicarrier gone. Apocalypse? What else do they have? That's it. I think I will put Dracula here. Where do we even discard? We discarded death, that's it, right? It's just like I could do this. No, I can't really. Well, I mean, I guess I could. There's two good hits and one bad hit. But then I'll get clogged, which is bad. I don't want to get clogged. Oh, they have Red Hulk. Alrighty. Good to know. They've discarded so many cards. Kinda scared of Hela. And I never got my Red Hulk. Red Hulk is literally just 11. Yeah, I could do this. 50-50. Also do this. What did we discard? Uh, yeah. Alright. I mean, I'll risk it, but it's not amazing, is it? We only discarded one card. Okay, wait. Oh, I, they helped us so much! Thank you! I love you! To me. <laughs> Victory. Love that for us. Overall, Red Hulk seems like a good card that has potential of growing really big. 39 power if everything goes well. That is, if there are 7 turns and if your opponent wasted energy every single turn. That seems kind of excessive, but it's really not. When Blob first came out, he was routinely 640 in Thanos decks and all you needed to do was plonk him down. And there were still people arguing with me saying that OG Blob was balanced and that I was being a crybaby when I complained about him on Twitter. Red Hulk is not a must-have card by any means. I know he's amazing at countering high evil decks, but I doubt we'll be seeing those in the next week or so. He's also a series 5 card, so it's very expensive to buy with tokens. Don't do it. Get him with spotlight keys if you really want him. The other cards in the spotlight caches this week are Sebastian Shaw 
and Echo. Sebastian is absolutely amazing in surfer decks, but that's pretty much it. He is a one-trick pony. If you enjoy surfer decks though, he is pretty much a must-have. I like Echo a lot, especially when Miss Marvel was everywhere. For some reason, a lot of people have Echo blindness and still play ongoing cards in the Echo location. She is very meta-dependent though, and at the moment, she's not seeing a lot of play. Probably because of stupid ass Thanos. I would definitely be going for her Spotlight variant by David Mack, who I actually met at the San Diego Comic Con last year and bought the signed print of Echo from. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, I would appreciate any kind of engagement, as long as it's not a hate message, those get hidden. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 50k subscribers. And I'll see you next time. Bye!